Hey builders, I'm Kamesh, lead developer advocate at Snowflake. You ever wondered how to turn your Simlet app into something much bigger? Today, I'll show you a game changer, turning it into a Snowflake native app with just few clicks. Imagine your app reaching thousands of enterprise users through the Snowflake marketplace. Secret weapon, our VS Code extension that's going to make this journey much simpler and easier. Let's dive in and see how. First thing first, let's grab the Snowflake VS Code extension. Already got it? Sweet, you can skip ahead. For everyone else, stick with me and I'll show you how to install it. This extension is going to make our lives so much easier when working with Snowflake. Ready? Let's dive in. Open the extension sidebar and type Snowflake on the search. Look for the official Snowflake extension. It's the first one on the list. You should see an install button. Since I already have it, I see uninstall and disable. Once installed, navigate to the Snowflake extension via this VS Code extension sidebar. The Snowflake extension reads the connection settings from the config files located in .snowflake folder from your home directory. Mine is already loaded and I have logged in to save time. To verify our connection, I am going to run a quick test query to list all my databases in the account. There we go. Our connection was successful and was able to list all the databases in my account. Next, let's check out our demo app on Streamlit Community Cloud. Here we go. I opened our demo Streamlit app on my browser. Basic UI, clean interface, drop some Penguin data and get some predictions. Want to see the magic? We are going to turn this regular Streamlit app into a Snowflake native app. And trust me, it's way easier than you think. No complex SQL commands, no command line headaches, just few clicks in VS Code extension and we are done. Curious about the code? Everything is in our demo repo. Let's get them in. Now that we have our Python environment ready and demo sources cloned locally, let's focus on the fun part, transforming this app into something cooler. First, let's enable our Snowflake native app tools feature via the Snowflake extension settings. Open the VS Code settings, search for Snowflake and scroll down and you should see something like enable native app panel, enable it and you should see the native app panel added to your Snowflake extensions explorer window. Now let's create the app. Click create new from template. Use the current folder as our application folder. Leave the templates repository to default. Select app streamlit python basic template and let's call our app as penguin app. That's all we need to get started. Our project now has all the native app template files. Much easier than doing it manually, right? Time to manage our code changes. Open the git explorer in the VS code. You will see all our new files needs to be staged. Let's stage them and commit saying like add template files and then say commit. This gives us a clean starting point. Now here's a cool shortcut. Instead of manual file updates, we'll pull the ready code from our native app branch of the demo repository. Just run this simple git command. We're all set. Code updates are ready in the branch. We're looking at a deployment flow today. Let's see what's changed. The very first thing that was added to our sources is snowflake.yaml. This is the manifest file that allows us to deploy this native application inside Snowflake. It defines two entities. One is called as a package. A package is basically what all is going to get packaged as part of this deployment. We say that we are going to package the app folder. We are going to package the module UI folder. And then you are also going to define the manifest. We need to say the bunch of scripts, SQL scripts are going to run. We'll talk about that in a second. And finally, we define an application thing which is going to get created whenever a consumer installs this native application. Setup underscore script dot SQL is going to run whenever a consumer is going to install this particular application inside their account. It's going to create a role, going to create a version schema to maintain various versions of this application. And then we are doing a grant for the schema to this role, creating the Streamlit app, which is going to be our open source to Streamlit and Snowflake version of this particular application. The Penguins app may need to say. That's what you're doing here on the core UI by creating the Streamlit app and granting the Streamlit app usage to this particular role. 
When we deploy this application inside as a native app or inside Snowflake, in other words, so what we are also going to do, this Penguin apps is going to use a table to read the data or load the data uh, and do predictions. So we're going to create a database, bunch of schemas as you see here, and then we are defining an external stage from where we are going to load the CSV file or the data, defining a file format to process the data during ingestion, creating a table to hold the data that gets ingested, typically the penguins table. And lastly, we define the copy into uh, how do we actually ingest the data from the penguins clean.csv file into this particular penguins table. The next important thing that we added is ui.py, which is basically, you can imagine like the changed version or adapted version, or to be very precise, a transformed version of the open source application to the Streamlit and Snowflake version of it. That gets deployed as part of this native app. So the changes are very minimal. If you could see, I'm just defining a bunch of imports, importing Snowpart Python, then getting the active session here. And I'm using a view here called as penguins.v. We'll come, come back to this view, how you define this view in a second. But this is what's going to get used. And instead of reading it from a CSV file, we're basically reading from this view using Snowpart data frames. If you, remember, if you remember in the any provider setup .sql, we basically loaded this file into the table, penguins table during the data ingestion. Where does this penguins.v come from? How does the provider gives it or shares it with the consumer? That's what we define as part of the shared content SQL file. So this is the application package that gets installed whenever it goes along with, with, your, with your consumer installing the application. What happens here is the objects that we define as part of the shared content.sql is the only one that is visible for the consumer. So we're defining a view. If you remember, this is a view that we defined here. What you again say, like we're doing a select start from penguins table. Since we are using a penguins app.data, we're giving a reference usage to that particular app here. And then we're also giving a couple of grants to this particular schema and view so that the consumer, when he installs the application, will be able to use this particular view as part of the UI.py. Now that we have understood what all the changes that we made to the original open source version of this application to transform it into Snowflake native app, it's time for us to use VS Code Snowflake extension native app feature to deploy this application into Snowflake. I'm going to navigate to the Snowflake extension. I'm on the native app development panel. You see the application getting listed here. Think it like a little explorer that will take you to the respective objects whenever I click on this. For example, when I click on core streamlit UI, that's going to take to the setup underscore script.sql file where I define this particular database object. Similarly, when I go to penguin ML app stages, click on penguins, it's going to take to my any provider setup.sql to the exact line where we are defining this particular database object. Lastly, We'll also have a view, the penguins underscore V that is getting used by the application. When I click on this, it goes to shared content.sql where we define this penguins view. With all this thing in, in place, let's go and click run to deploy this application inside Snowflake and also start a test version of this application so that we can open up in the browser and view what's deployed. There we go. Our penguin app has been successfully deployed within Snowflake. I can click on open in browser to open the application in our web browser. I'm going to give it a few seconds for the applications to start. And there we go. Our Penguins ML app has been successfully deployed within Snowflake as a native app. If you see, this is the exact same application that is running inside Streamlit Community Cloud that we transformed using Snowflake native app. And you know how easy it is right now sitting right within your VS code to deploy this application without running complex SQL commands. Let me show you how to use environment variables via the native app developer panel. It's useful when you want to deploy your app to different environments. For example, we can create the penguins view in different schemas based on where we deploy, like dev, QA or prod. For this demo, I have created two profiles, namely dev and QA, with one environment variable named penguins underscore view underscore schema. You can add more profiles using add profile, rename an existing profile, and delete a profile. You can choose the active profile by picking one profile from this particular dropdown. In this case, I'm leaving it to default to dev profile. Now we will modify our app to read the environment variables from the profile. Let us run another git command to pull the update from the native app branch of the code repository. As you see, the updated shared content.sql 
right now pulls the value from the context.env.penguins underscore views underscore schema. The value for this enrollment variable depends upon this active profile that is currently chosen. In our case, it will be dev profile, which uses a value called a shad for the penguins views underscore schemas. If you also notice the ui.py also gone a change that also pulls the value of the schema name from the enrollment variable. The selected enrollment profile set to dev, which will use penguins views underscore schema value to be shared. Let us do one more deployment of the app. You could see the app explorer also updated to show the penguins view schema, the enrollment variable listing here, which says that it's using this particular enrollment variable. We can also query the particular application package to see like what it has. For example, I'm going to query all the schemas that got created inside this app. You see, see the shared schema is already created. And let's give another query call to see what views it has. And right there we go. The penguins underscore view has been right now deployed into penguin app package dot shared schema. Wow builders, this is all it takes to turn a streamlit app into Snowflake native app. Who knew the deployment could be so seamless with our VS Code extension. Ready to get started? Check the links below. You'll find everything from the demo code to detailed docs on native apps. Keep building amazing things. This is Kamesh signing off.